Every year, enough sunshine falls on millions of homes to generate all the electricity they need, but just goes to waste. Some may have been put off by the look of solar panels, but that's all changed. Solar Century has now developed a solar tile that even fits in with traditional slate roofs, a breakthrough in harnessing the sun's power without spoiling the look of your home. We thought you might be curious, so we've answered some common questions. The principle behind solar electric technology is that the energy from the sun is converted into electricity by the silicon in the cells, and the cells are all wired together to form a solar tile. In a home installation, the tiles are fixed to the roof, wired together, and the electricity is then passed through to the home's distribution board. Solar Century tiles are guaranteed to work to at least 80% power for 25 years, and should last as long as the roof on your house. One of our great successes over the last few years has been this solar electric tile, which integrates with thick concrete tiles. Um, but we were getting a lot of demand from customers for a product which would integrate with slate roofs. So we've developed this, the solar electric slate, which is much thinner than the solar electric tile and will integrate with a range of different slate products. We've developed the solar slate in order to be as invisible as possible, really, from ground level. The C21E tiles are excellent from an architectural point of view. They sit flat to the, the plane of the roof, so it's, it's something that you can use you know, pretty much anywhere. The reason that this product works so well is that it can be totally integrated with the slates that are on the roof. What I like is the fact that it really does allow you to put it into the roof and not have people look at it and say that there are solar panels on the roof. This house in South London was designed by owner Will Anderson to be fully carbon neutral. He's completely self-sufficient for electricity, thanks to his solar roof. I mean, some people think that you can't actually use solar in Britain because it's such a cloudy, rainy nation. But today, even though it's cloudy, there's no direct sunlight, um, I'm generating well over a thousand watts of power, which is more than I need for everything in the house. All these bits and bobs, they all add up to less than we're currently generating. So we can cover all those and still have a surplus. This is the best bit. I know we're making money today because the electricity meter is going backwards. And the weather's equally British at the state-of-the-art solar street in Rotherham. But the residents are still collecting their kilowatts. It's very dull, very cloudy. And yet you can see the panels are still working because on this meter, the light is green. So even though it's quite a grey day today, you will actually make two or three units. I think probably the system produces somewhere in the region of two thirds of our energy um, in, in a daily use. These are the solar tiles here, which are fitted flush with the regular tiles. The first bill that we had after the initial installation was amazing you know especially when you get one of your previous bills out and compare you just like wow so eventually i think what we're going to do is end up paying back for the system on a much quicker time scale than we thought when we, when we did the sums the other thing is actually the value of the system I mean, it always remains on the roof of your house so when you if you come to sell your house for instance you can ask for a premium on the price of the house because the system's there we thought we'd put that theory to the test by asking the public which of these two hypothetical homes they'd buy a regular new build, or one with a solar roof like David's, costing around £17,000 more. What would your reaction be? I would go for the solar home. I would purchase a solar home. If I had the choice between these two, I'd pick the solar home. If that was the cost difference, I would definitely go for the solar home. Yeah, definitely. I think definitely the uh, solar home. But you don't get the choice at the moment, do you? No. We got an estate agent loan after the installation and he's uh, quoted that it raised the value of the house by 6 to 8%, so we're really pleased with that. Meanwhile, Will's energy costs are likely to make you go green, with envy. 
We don't have any bills. I mean, we just get checks from the energy company, which is, at a time when energy prices are going up, is obviously quite nice. Don't want to be too smug about this. You know, it's not why we did it, but now that we've got it, it's nice. From a roofing contractor's point of view, it really is very, very simple. They are fixed to the roof battens exactly the same way as a slate is fixed to the roof battens. It's just a matter of plugging one wire into another wire, connecting one panel to another panel. It couldn't be more simple. If you're building a house yourself, it would just fit in with the standard build program. In the same way, if you've got an existing house, then the solar slates can just replace the slates on your existing roof. Actually, we were quite surprised about the lack of disruption there was. Now, I had to have the roof done anyway. To have the solar added in, there was no real extra complication. The insulation guy for Solar Century turned up, laid the new tiles along with my roofer working with him. Um, the system was linked up uh, by my electrician, and within a day it was up and running. Living with solar is just like living a normal day life. Um, I think one thing it has done is it's taught us to be more careful about our energy usage. You become a lot more conscious about what you're using, how you're using it. So like you become like a bit of a police detective. You're going around the house going, right, who's got something on? And when people leave lights on or leave things on overnight, um, uh, you get a little bit jumpy, but you've got to be cool about that. Comparing living in a, an ordinary house to this house, there, there, are, there is no comparison. Um, I wouldn't, if I had to, I would of course, but I, I wouldn't really like to go back. It would be very hard for us now, I think, to move from this house to an, an ordinary house which didn't make any energy and which was very kind of energy wasteful. Uh, I'm sure the first thing I would do was go around draft stripping and then working out where I could put some solar panels. The, the proof of it, we've done some quite extensive uh, research with the people who've moved in here and everyone is delighted with, with what we've done up here. So it's certainly shown us that that's the future as far as we're concerned. If you've got a bit of spare cash, which you're thinking about using on this, but you're not sure, I would say invest. Even if your, your interest is not an ethical interest uh, about lowering your carbon footprint, if it's, if it's more about saving money, then I really do see it as a, as a worthwhile investment. And every time I hear on the television that there's a gas price rise and an electric price rise, etc, etc, then um, I've heard from my relatives that they've all said, I think we'll all move in Buda, you know, for the winter. It does seem rather strange to me that there's so much energy hitting our roofs across the entire country every day, but we're using so little of it.